Hi, I'm Kolari Lishanaike, back with another video on communication skills. And in this video, I'm going to be analysing the recent interaction between Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Rishi Sunak, and a homeless man called Dean that has led to many calling Rishi Sunak completely out of touch. Stay with me. So first of all, let me wish you all a Merry Christmas and give yourself a Christmas present by clicking the subscribe and notification button so you get a present every time I drop one of these videos. So in this video, Rishi Sunak has attended a homeless shelter to serve food to the homeless at Christmas. Now, that is a good thing on any basis. Uh, yes, it's a bit of a PR stunt, but to be honest, I can't be overly critical with him on that. So kudos to him for at least doing something to serve the community. The main problem arose when he had an interaction with a homeless gentleman called Dean, where he asked him various questions that in my view were not just politically stupid, which they were, but revealed a central problem with Rishi Sunak's approach to communication. Thank you. Now, would you like sausages? Some toast? Yeah. Perfect. A couple of eggs? Yeah. Fantastic. Now, you've been here before, have you? I have, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a great place, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Now, on the face of it, all he is doing here is asking Dean what he wants to eat and then serving him accordingly. But there's a problem. It's not a big one, but it was indicative of the flawed approach with which he was approaching this particular conversation. He asked Dean, do you want some toast? Do you want some sausages? Dean says yes. And then he gives him two pieces of toast and two sausages. Now, how does he know that that is what Dean wanted? Maybe he wanted one piece of toast and three pieces of sausages, right? It doesn't really matter. The point is he didn't ask and then listen to the answer. In the grand scheme of things, not that big a deal. He served him, Dean seemed happy, and so nobody can criticise him too much. But for me, it was an indication that he wasn't truly listening and not truly paying attention to what Dean wanted or what Dean believed. And that, in my view, is what led to the problems that we then see later on in the conversation. Right, that's that. That's the cutlery. Let me get. We got some economy out. Well, that is exactly what I'm trying to do. Exactly what I'm trying to do. Um, there's the piece there. Now, I had to watch this part of the clip several times and even look for some transcripts so that I heard exactly what it was that Dean said. Because, in fact, what he said was, are you going to sort out the economy? You're going to do what's best for business. Now, that is a statement that needs somebody who is really paying attention and really listening to think carefully about what, in fact, he is saying. And the truth is, it's difficult to know. Was he saying you're a Tory and you're just going to do what's best for business? So which is a little bit of a critical statement. Or what he's, was he saying that, yes, I believe that we really do have to do what's best for business to get the economy going, which maybe is a bit of more of a supportive statement, uh, leading Rishi Sunak to think that he was really about business and the importance of business. The point is, you cannot know from the statement that was made. So what Rishi should have done was to ask a follow up question that shows that he was listening and trying to understand where Dean was actually coming from. For instance, oh, well, what's your particular situation? Tell me a bit more. And then Dean could tell him what he's doing or where he comes from or what he's been into or what he's struggling with. That's the kind of question that would have signaled that Rishi was listening. But no, instead, he responds with a comment that has gone viral. What, what do you have? A, you, do you work in business? Do you want some no, fruit? I'm, I'm homeless. Uh, I'm actually a homeless person. Now, if you notice, the first thing he actually said or tried to say was, do you have a business? And then he followed up with, do you work in business? Both questions are problematic for a couple of reasons. The first is to ask a homeless person, do they have a business? Do they work in business? Is just politically naive because it's every chance that the person is going to say no or take umbrage or offence or say something completely different. Now, that is not to say that homeless people cannot have businesses or work in businesses. I just did a stint at my local church serving the homeless and I was shocked and humbled 
by just how many working people who are also homeless there are in London and in our society. For me, it's one of the most shocking things that there is homelessness at all in our world, let alone people working but simply not being able to afford a place to live. But the point is, Rishi shouldn't have asked the question because it was making an assumption based on having not listened to the answer at all. And if he had listened to the answer that was given, he wouldn't have asked a question like, do you have or run a business? And that led to the follow up kind of viral response, which really crystallized the criticism that everybody has given of Rishi Sunak's interaction in this moment. Yeah, that's absolutely right. So I used to work in finance, actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I did, I did. I did lots of different things, but you're right. I think in a, the good thing now is it's not just London. If you look at all the jobs in finance around the UK. The majority of them are outside of London now. Yeah. So it's spread across the UK. The law and the association. Yeah. Is that something you'd like to get into? Um, I wouldn't mind. Um, but I don't know. I'd like to get through Christmas though. Yeah. Yes, unsurprisingly for a homeless person at a homeless shelter, the thing that is dominating Dean's thoughts at Christmas is simply getting through Christmas. It's not trying to work in finance. And because Rishi Sunak was focused on making some sort of political point and taking political advantage of this moment, as opposed to just listening to what Dean said, he got himself into trouble. There is a quote by the American psychiatrist M. Scott Peck, he was also the author of The Road Less Travelled, which says that you cannot truly listen to anyone and do anything else at the same time. The point being that if we are going to be great listeners, we have to put everything else out of our minds and laser focus into what the person is actually saying, how they are saying it, what are they not saying? What are the emotions behind the words that they use? When we do that, we hear so much more than if we just pay superficial cursory attention with the view to responding with whatever it is that we want to say to make the point that we think is more important. Listening is one of the greatest communication skills that exists and Rishi Sunak singularly demonstrated how not to do it and the fact that he really didn't have any intention of paying much attention to Dean and his circumstances. If he was doing this properly, he would have served Dean, asked a question, maybe come out from behind the glass, sat down with the gentleman and asked him about his circumstances to pay attention and see whether in fact he could help. But he didn't because all he was focused on was how is this going to play politically? And when you do things like that, you're not going to hear anything. So for all of you watching this video, my Christmas gift to you is to encourage you to focus on the art of listening. Listening is not just for Christmas, it is for life. Somebody needs to tell Rishi Sunak that. As always, whenever you need help with your communication skills, feel free to reach out using any one of the links on this page and I will see you on the next video.